coffee. Today's plan is drink coffee, take a shower, and then I gotta go drop some stuff off for work. Oh. Alright guys, here we go again. Let's uh start this party off right. Oh son of a bitch. I gotta get gas. It's always something. It's always something. First off the coffee curry thing needed to get cleaned. So my coffee came out. It took like half an hour for to pour a cup of coffee because the stupid thing was jammed up. Now I need to get gas. I gotta drive an hour away to drop off some parts. Man, it is cold today. 16 degrees on my temperature gauge in the car. Yesterday, I think it was in the in the high 30s. But then again, that's weather in New England. It's 16 degrees now. It'll be a high of like 25 today or something. And then uh, Tomorrow's supposed to be up in the 30s, and then Thursday it's supposed to be almost 50 degrees. So it's uh, it's weather by schizophrenics. Hopefully spring is around the corner. I I can't wait. Hey guys, I'm actually on my way to drop off a sample part for work to the oldest um, line facility in the United States it's I think it's actually the only one left that manufactures um, tennis line racket line uh, line for any of those um, sports tennis racquetball badminton and um, my company actually supplies them with the spools that they roll their their line on so I'm going over there to introduce um, a new spool to them and, and see what they like see if they like it um, but on my way down, I'm, pa I'm passing a state forest, and my wife mentioned to me last night that she was like, hey, where's Mount Misery? I'm like, I think that's right down the road from us. And um, I drove in, and I just drove up to the office to uh, to see if I could grab like a, um, a, a state park map, and uh, they didn't have anything printed up currently because it's, it's the middle of winter, and not really many people are coming to state parks right now. But... I'm going to take a quick drive through, see if I can see a sign that says Mount Misery on it. That way I know I'm in the right direction. And uh, maybe we'll take a trip out here in the spring. Alright, I found Mount Misery. And uh, it's surprising how many people are out today in 26 degree weather um, hiking right now it's it's pretty amazing there I, I wonder if a lot of them are are um, ice fishing at all pretty cool all right guys so this is the oldest tennis line racquetball line badminton line um, company in the United States and, and it's, I believe According to their website, it's, they're the only manufacturer of line anymore in the U.S. And it's their 195th year in business. Started off manufacturing fishing lines. Pretty amazing. Check this building out. So there it is. Ashley line. We're going to go in in a second and grab off my stuff. There it is. Ashley line and twine. All right, listen to this cool story. I the one of the people I met with was the purchasing agent, and the conversation kind of started to go off on a tangent all over the place. And as you can tell, I like to talk a lot, and apparently this person likes to talk a lot too. And she was started talking about like taxes in Rhode Island versus Connecticut and all kinds of stuff. And I could tell that her views were very conservative. I was like, oh, thank God, so are mine. Maybe we're going to be on the same page because I don't like to talk about politics to customers and she felt comfortable doing it and, and um, the, the the conversation evolved into gun control and she's pro-Second Amendment and I'm like, this is awesome. 
And it, it was, I think that I, from that one conversation just then, I solidified my relationship with these guys for life. It was absolutely amazing. So you never know who you're gonna meet um, during the day. What a, what, a, what a fantastically productive day so far. It's awesome. So today was a pretty good day. Had um, really good meetings and uh, saw some sights I never thought I'd see before and uh, took some pretty cool video. So hope you guys like that. And uh, now I'm gonna help Gavin who's uh, playing um, AAU baseball. He's got a work kind of swing. And uh, he's got 50 swings to practice every day and uh, just to work on keeping his shoulders straight. So I'm gonna take some shots of that. But uh, have a great one guys and I'll see you on the next one. Shut up and sit down.